A food chain is a simplified representation of the flow of energy and nutrients in an ecosystem. It typically consists of a linear sequence of organisms, where each organism is a source of food for the next one. Here are the roles of food chains. Producers. Primary consumers, herbivores. Secondary consumers, carnivores and omnivores. Tertiary consumers. Decomposers. Let's discuss these roles in detail before moving forward. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. It will immensely help. What are producers? Producers are typically green plants, algae, or some bacteria. They are autotrophic organisms, meaning they have the ability to synthesize their own food using energy from sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, and various nutrients. This process is called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the key process by which producers generate their own energy and organic compounds. It involves the following steps. Light absorption. Producers contain pigments, such as chlorophyll, that capture sunlight energy. Conversion of energy. The captured sunlight energy is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a type of sugar, and oxygen. The chemical equation for photosynthesis is 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus light energy greater than C6H1206O6 plus 6O2. Primary source of energy. Producers are the primary source of energy in the food chain. They convert solar energy into chemical energy stored in the form of glucose. This energy is transferred to the next trophic levels, consumers, when they are consumed. Role in ecosystems. Producers are critical for ecosystem stability. They provide food and energy to herbivores, primary consumers, and, indirectly, to carnivores and omnivores, secondary consumers. The entire food chain and web rely on the energy captured by producers. Types of producers. There are various types of producers, including terrestrial plants like trees and grasses, aquatic plants like phytoplankton, and even photosynthetic bacteria found in extreme environments. Limiting factors. The growth and productivity of producers can be influenced by factors like sunlight, water availability, temperature, and nutrient levels. Any factor that limits a producer's ability to carry out photosynthesis can impact the entire ecosystem. Trophic level. Producers are considered the first trophic level in a food chain or web. They are followed by primary consumers, herbivores, secondary consumers, carnivores and omnivores, and so on. Understanding the role of producers is essential in ecology because they are the primary contributors of energy to the ecosystem, supporting the survival and growth of all other organisms within the food chain or food web. Primary consumers play a crucial role in the food chain as they are the organisms that directly consume producers, plants, algae, or other autotrophic organisms. They are herbivores, which means they primarily feed on plant material. Here's a detailed explanation of the primary consumer's role in the food chain. Herbivores. Primary consumers are herbivores that feed on plants, algae, or other autotrophic organisms. These herbivores may be insects, mammals, birds, or various other organisms. Energy transfer. The primary consumers serve as the link between the producers and the rest of the ecosystem. They obtain their energy by consuming plant material, which contains the energy captured through photosynthesis by producers. Energy transformation. When primary consumers eat plants, they assimilate some of the energy stored in plant tissues for their growth and maintenance. However, not all the energy is transferred. Some energy is lost as heat, and some goes into undigested waste. Supporting higher trophic levels. The energy and nutrients acquired by primary consumers become available to the next trophic level, the secondary consumers, carnivores or omnivores. Secondary consumers, in turn, eat primary consumers, which allows the energy to flow through the food chain. Population control. Primary consumers can influence the abundance and distribution of plant species within an ecosystem. Their feeding behavior can affect plant populations, which, in turn, can impact the composition of the entire ecosystem. Balancing ecosystems. By consuming plant material, primary consumers can help prevent overgrowth of certain plant species. This helps maintain a balance in the ecosystem and ensures that one plant species does not dominate the landscape. Food source for predators. Primary consumers become a food source for predators, which are higher up in the food chain. These predators are known as secondary consumers or tertiary consumers, depending on their position in the chain. Cycle of nutrients. In addition to energy transfer, primary consumers also play a role in nutrient cycling. 
when they consume plant material and later die or excrete waste, they return nutrients back to the ecosystem, which can be used by plants for growth. Secondary consumers are a vital component of the food chain as they play a crucial role in energy transfer and nutrient cycling within ecosystems. Here's a detailed explanation of the role of secondary consumers in the food chain. Predators. Secondary consumers are organisms that feed on primary consumers, which are typically herbivores. They can be categorized as carnivores, omnivores, or even some specialized herbivores that consume animal matter. Energy transfer. Secondary consumers obtain their energy by preying on primary consumers. This means they are one step higher in the food chain, and the energy they acquire comes from the plants that primary consumers have consumed. Energy transformation. When secondary consumers eat primary consumers, they assimilate some of the energy stored in the tissues of these herbivores for their growth and maintenance. However, like all energy transfers in the food chain, not all energy is retained, some is lost as heat. Population control. Secondary consumers can influence the population of primary consumers, which, in turn, affects plant populations. This predation pressure helps maintain a balance in the ecosystem and prevents overgrazing or overbrowsing by herbivores. Wait for part 2 on this topic. To be continued.